Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to this exhibition match stream. This is Shadow 333 with some exhibition matches live for you. Rather unusual, rather than normal replays. First off, we're going to have Anarchid versus Lowry on the very newest Red Comet, which is going to be. Just one sec. Fortunately, being that we are playing live, I can't easily. I cannot easily control when the game starts and stops. But, eh, why not play live sometimes? Why not? Okay. So, this is the absolute latest finished version of Red Comet. Biggest difference is fog. I mentioned the earlier version of Red Comet that added a bit of specularity. This adds fog on the ground. Anarchid did a fair amount of work on a fog shader widget, like a 3D volumetric fog thing. Really quite neat. I, I think it works nicely. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the compression on the stream, but yeah. Anyway, so Anarchid going for a heavy tank factory while Lowry is going for light vehicles. This map that's really typical, and I should point out, nothing's really changed economically, so 2.3 all the time. This is a common start. These are common start spots. I mean, it'll be a little bit harder for them to get the center as usual, as I often say. But at this point, not a big deal. Yeah, sorry, I'm hurrying because the players are playing, so stuff is happening. Anyway... Lowry, speaking of stuff happening, scouting on Anarchid, making sure there's nothing untoward going on. Anarchid, on the other hand, going for a... Going for an attack with the Kodachis. Gotta make sure that that gets in, try to deal some damage. Defender here is gonna be a bit of a problem that way. While the dart's going around back, that might also be an issue. I mean, it's gonna be... No, it's not even gonna be an issue at all. Very good placement by Anarchid on the defensive turrets. On the other hand, the Kodachi... Not able to do too much, going down as well, hitting Lowry's commander, but not hitting the metal extract, which would have been a much better option. Anarchid even pointing out that that was a mistake. Oh. Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake on Anarchid's part. Accidental execution failure. Going for the, that metal extract would have been far more effective, but no, unfortunately, it auto-fired onto the commander. I think it's not on hold fire. No, it's not on hold fire. It is on fire at will. So it is going to be hitting whatever the first thing it encounters, which is not necessarily a metal extractor. Though in this case, there is a nice naked metal extractor that could be taken out. Anarchid just expanding as well, and Lowry going for a much stronger raid. Here we are, a couple Scorchers coming in here. They will be a bit of a problem. Only a bit, though. I think the Kodachi, I think the Kodachi will be able to take care of them. Should be able to micro it properly, and attacking the ground. Interesting choice. Not sure why it did that. That looked like a misclick. Yeah, there we go. That's that's more like it. Unfortunately, the Kodachi once again going down. Panther being a much more effective counter against Scorcher. But between the burning and the laser, I actually think that will... No, that won't kill him. Kills one. Doesn't kill the other. Leaves him reclaim for Anakin to take. And Lowry is continuing to build up along the north side of the map and along the east side of the map going south. Anakin, on the other hand, only really building up north. Not building as quickly east. So Lowry way ahead economically... One and a half times the metal income, and there isn't a lot of reclaim either, so that is one and a half times static metal income. Incidentally, the reclaim has not been taken, but that's well, not nothing, but it's not much. It's like four seconds worth of reclaim. I can see why it hasn't been taken. At this point, Lowry is in a nice position to block off Anarchid. Not the best position, this will not get through. Like The darts will be killed by the welder before they kill the welder. But Lowry does have the north side fairly well defended. Anarchid is not building up at all, actually, surprisingly enough. Their commander morphing, but not moving north, not expanding, not building. While Lowry, on the other hand, like I said, they're expanding towards the south. They're actually, they stopped expanding towards the south. Why is... That mason's gone idle. Their commander has not. I'm kind of going north and... Okay, so Anarchid will be able to get a bit of parity here, just because Lowry did leave this Mason idle. Bit of a mistake. And Anarchid is quickly shifting over to Banishers. Actually, did they, sk they skipped Panthers. Yeah, the Banishers, but no Panthers. Kodachi straight to, ban to Banisher, because that's not terribly surprising. Banishers are actually a powerful thing. And Lowry going for a rapid air switch, four and a half minutes into the game, and already going for an air switch. I mean, they are economically ahead, but still, that is... That is surprising. 
And now their Mason's moving again, getting that up. But yeah, a couple Ravagers up. That's all they have so far. Can't really assault too heavily. However, the Banisher, on the other hand, is essentially the tank's anti-air. I mean, the, it's not really. The Copperhead's the tank's anti-air, but the homing missile aspect of the Banisher works really nicely for dealing with air units. Really nicely, in general. So Anarchid is going to be building up from here, probably... Oh, building Reapers. Okay, I was going to say, they're probably going to be shifting over a bit more Banishers once they see the air coming in. But against the against the Ravagers? I don't know. I don't see Banishers working especially well. Panthers work okay. Reapers might work okay. Kodachis would actually be not a bad bet. We'll see how that goes, though. Kodachi's actually avoiding it. Instead... Anarchy going over to the south. Does Anarchy know? No, Anarchy doesn't know. Anarchy is just guessing that there's something over to the south. Well, Lowry does see that, though. Lowry does have radar coverage pretty well across their entire side of the map, so they know exactly what's going on. And they're also just sending in her. Well, they're trying to send a raiding force, but we aren't on the latest engine, so that didn't work out as well as it could have. And. Fight joined? Banishers are indeed not the best bet. Kodachis are working fairly well, but that Banisher, not much you can really do here. Trying to get out of the way, but ends up killing itself. And in come the Ravens for, like I said, this is where the Banisher is going to be more useful. In theory. Wow, it didn't even get in range. That sucks. So I might see some Copperheads coming up from Anarchid. I wouldn't be surprised from that. Lowry, on the other hand, is setting up the Ravagers and Masons, while also getting getting Hawks, being absolutely sure they have air control. Anarchid, not as well built up, continue to not be as well built up, and not really being able to get harassment in. However, they do see they see Lowry sending some stuff over to the north. They want to get rid of that. They're building Kodachis, building Kodachis and Banisher. Oh, the Kodachi and Banisher can come in. And this is where the well, Raven's gonna try to help here. Kodachi, however, able to get rid of the Metal Extractor. Very nice timing, too. Getting rid of it right as soon as it was finished. I mean, it's not like it's that big of a deal, because it, when you do that, I mean, they can't really get it the money back regardless. So, it doesn't matter that much. They've already spent the money. But now, the question is, can they get in? Can Anarchy get in and actually avoid getting killed? Well, barely avoiding their commander getting killed. Wow. That was quite the risky jump there. But yeah, can the Kodachis and Banishers and... Okay, the Reapers can. Yeah, that's... That's going to be painful. But that was close to the Commander here. Just avoided damage. And the Commander is about to go down. And it looks like... Does Anarchid have... No, Anarchid doesn't have any units nearby. So that was Commander Death without really any penalty for it. Although, unfortunately, they did overextend slightly. Reaper's going to go down. The Builder's going to go down. And... Well, actually, the Reaper might go down. The Reaper might be able to get out of there. Yeah, the Reaper barely able to escape. Half health. Okay, not barely, because that's still 2,800 health, but still. Able to escape. Bit close, but did get out of there. And a couple of Hacksaws, just in case my Anarchy's Commander will not die next time around. And there comes the next time around. Lowry setting up their... Well, plenty to set up their Bombers. Looks like they're instead going for Ground Force, which is actually the better option. Although, a jump into this particular pit will help out. The Ravagers will not be able to see what's going on. They will actually... I think they will miss Anarchid's Commander. And... They see the smoke. But they don't see the unit itself. However, the smoke might cause suspicion if Lowry's looking for it. Anarchid now moving further out of the way, so it's impossible to see. Or potentially impossible to see. With Banishers and Reapers coming in to finish them off, getting rid of those Ravagers, though admittedly that's a lot to lose. Anarchy losing the entire corridor in the process. A little bit hard to tell how that's going to work out, but I think the Ravagers will be able to get rid of the Banisher. Oh, this is a nice clump. Oh, last missile does hit, deals a fair amount of damage. The Reaper not targeting the right Ravager, though. And the Ravager's able to get out of the way, just barely killing one of them, however. And I can actually get one more shot off. It does not hit, but a Reaper... It has backup. Second Reaper in the back does take it out, but still, that's a lot of Metal Extractors lost in the process. 
I really could have dodged that shot too. The thing with Reapers, you can actually dodge their shots pretty effectively. You have to be paying attention to them, but you can, as they fire, dodge the shots because they're slow moving, they're not homing. They fire once every four seconds. Ravagers are the same way, but Ravagers fire every two seconds, I think. Yep, every two seconds. So that is... That is something to bear in mind. Ravagers do have a very low reload time, or sorry, very high reload time, very low reload speed, and they have a very slow moving projectile. So if you're driving straight away from them, that's death. If you're driving, kind of weaving around, that's not. That'll allow you to live. And Lowry trying to defend against Anarchid's comeback attack, although Anarchid doesn't have a whole lot to come back with. They can reclaim a fair amount. Their commander is relatively healthy, but at this point, their commander is also open. I'm not sure if Lowry is going to take advantage of this, or they realize it. Instead, they're going to go... For, no, they're going for the Reapers directly. Going to get rid of one of the Reapers. The other one will survive, because it's not going to be attacked as much. But yeah, that Reaper's dead. Just barely, too. The Swiss... No, not, no, never mind, not just barely. That was a lot going for that there. And none of the Swifts able to get in. Anarchid losing their entire Air Force. Just like that. Trying to get rid of this, but now the Hawks are going to see the Commander is completely undefended. Well, very nearly undefended. A Razor coming up, but there should be enough free bombers. Yes, there are indeed three free bombers, or at least three free bombers, that are going to be able to get rid of Anarchid's Commander within the next 20 seconds. Although it's trying. Has the machine gun, has the armor. It's going to jump at some point. Try to avoid one of them, but it's... It's pretty much dead. This is kind of it. Bombers are coming in. What are they targeting? Where are they? Why are they not targeting the commander? Well, now they haven't actually got much of a chance. The Ravers is coming in. Doesn't matter. They are still going to go over the commander. They will be able to kill it. Despite jumping, it is still going to get killed. Right now. There we go. Commander goes down. And none of Lowry's units lost in the process. That was the same thing about doing it with air, is that you basically make the commander ex death explosion not affect you in any way. You're attacking with ground is much riskier because you can lose a large part of your army because the death explosion is big and it is powerful. I'm not sure how powerful it is though. Oh, it doesn't actually say. Shoot. I am kind of curious how much damage that deals. Seriously, I wonder if it's possible to do that as a one-shot explosion thing. Oh, and an attempt... Looks like that was an attempt to terraform down some of the units, but did not work. Either that or create a larger choke point. Well, see, a larger wall, a smaller choke point. Lowry, however, is way ahead. There's no denying this. I mean, killing the commander was a blow, but really Lowry's overall just way ahead. Getting fusion plants, having a strider hub, getting up an ultimatum. Because why not? They already have a fusion plant. And they have a lot of overdrive going right now. Actually, wait, no, they don't. What am I saying? Actually, you have barely any overdrive. Yeah, that that's... That is actually 30%. Not terrible, but not great. For the amount of energy they have. Anyway, doesn't really matter, though. More Ravens coming in, and... Yeah, the Banishers actually aren't doing that well against them. I think maybe Copperheads might actually be worth building at this point. Conventional Wisdom was use Banishers as anti-air, but it looks like at this point it's not the case. Although, admittedly, Copperheads are one fewer thing they can deal with these Ravagers swarms, and the Ravagers swarms are a big problem. I can't say I'm totally surprised. More Banishers, however, are not coming in. There are no Bombers coming in. There's nothing, I mean, there's Bombers coming in for Lowry, and Anarchid's kind of done. Not really sure what Anarchid has at this point. They haven't got a lot of reclaim to work from. They haven't... I mean, they have their turrets that are working okay. They're baiting back into those, but even then, it's not great. However, if they do survive this, that's a lot of reclaim they can use. But even then, I don't know if it's going to be enough to make economic parity. The military disadvantage is massive. And they haven't got a lot of anti-air crowd control. The Copperhead would work fairly well, but they don't have it. And they're probably not going to get it. And that's a lot of resources that isn't becoming Reapers and Banishers, which is what needs to be used to deal with these Ravagers, because there's still a lot of... There's still ten Ravagers on the field. And there's the reclaims. At least they're trying. I mean, Anarchid is getting themselves a bit more even thanks to the reclaim, but they did lose a fair amount of static economy. Trying to rebuild that as well, but they are running out of territory. It's They are definitely on the back foot, and they are still economically behind despite the reclaim. Going for a fusion reactor, really wanting to get that overdrive going, because really at this point, what else do they have? 
And that's their only real hope, although at this point, Lowry is going so heavily for overdrive of their own that I don't know how well that's going to work out. And at this point, like, 50% or so, and the overdrive circles are not lining up to the colors for some bizarre reason. I do not know why that's happening. But yeah, that should be more of a green. For some reason, it's gone purple. I have no idea what's going on there. And that ultimatum should be done, and another and a scorpion is being built up as well. Where'd the ultimatum go? Shoot, I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. So ultimatum at the center of the map. Lowry is probably gonna take this. I mean, not just the ultimatum. In general, Lowry's gonna take this. Lowry has three times the the military, and almost three times the economy. Three times without reclaim. If reclaim is not taken into account, it is three times the economy. Yeah, Anarchid. They just got messed up. I mean, losing their commander was a blow, but more more so just losing their units over and over again. That first Kodachi, if it hit the metal extractor, that probably would have helped out a lot, because Lowry had an economic advantage the entire game. There has not been a point in this game where Anakin has had an economic advantage. They're getting pretty close to parity using Reclaim, but even then, that's only so much. A like, Reclaim lasts so long. It's good to have. You want to use it, definitely. Very good thing to use. But for Anakin to get back into this game, they basically need to be able to crowd control all these Ravagers, and I don't think they have the troops to do that. They have the defenses that are helping, but they don't really have anything else to deal with that. The Banishers don't deal enough damage. Oh, actually they do. Okay, it gets there. Never mind. They're still getting it there. But yeah, the Banishers aren't dealing a huge amount of damage, and that's... This is kind of game. The ultimatum not even being dragged into this. Where did it go? Oh, it's down here. Yeah, it's further down, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Although... Okay, Fusion Plant goes down, takes out the Heavy Tank Factory. That's kind of death, and Lowry was safe about that, avoiding the explosion. That is game! Anarchy throws in the towel, but yeah, Lowry just had the advantage the entire game. Anarchy never really got back from that. Never really was able to harass very well. That's the thing about playing Heavy Tanks. It's difficult to harass. I mean, Kodachi do a decent job, but overall it is difficult to harass, and Anarchy did not ever build any Panthers. I think considering the cost of these units, considering the fact that Ravagers are 250 each and Panthers are like 300, if that was even in cost, I think that the Ravagers would probably have been stunlocked to death. They'd have been stunlocked and the Reapers would have killed them. That probably would have done the trick. But alas, that was not to be. That was not the case. Now I think I might do another one. Not totally sure. Yeah, I don't know. I might... Anyway, I'll be back if I do. If not, then that's it. I don't know. Actually, no, I think I'm just gonna end it. Okay, thank you all for watching, everyone, and have a good night. I'm... Yeah, sorry. Doing live is always a little bit tricky because it takes a while for things to start up. Anyway, good night everyone.